with a group of green-fingered BP viewers who love nothing more than being outside at their local wildlife garden. Which, as you can see, is teeming with colour and life. The top here. And as it couldn't be a green-themed shoot without him, I've invited along friend of the show and young gardener of the year, George. But today, it's not just us and a group of children. No, no, we're joined by someone very important. I thought that was me. Oh, normally it is George, but this is very special. Gold Blue Peter badge holder Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cambridge is on a mission to encourage children and families to enjoy nature. Fresh from designing a woodland garden for the Chelsea Flower Show, she's joining us for three fun outdoorsy activities. And here's all our helpers today. Hello, everyone. Hey, guys. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> so we're all ready to do a bit of pond dipping. Brilliant. I don't know if this is something you've done before. Massively up my street, yes. Amazing. Definitely. Well, let's just get straight into it then. Okay. I think the technique, I'm yes. told, is a figure of eight. <laughs> OK, I didn't realise that was actual technique. Is that right, guys? Yeah. Figure of eight. Yeah. So these guys come yeah. all the time. They really are pros. I'm going to go right in the back. Go right in. What things have you guys found when you've been here? We, we found tadpoles. Yeah. Ah. Do you know what the tadpoles eventually turn into? Frogs. Have you ever seen any froggies? Yeah. yeah, there are frogs here. Don't you think it's cool to be able to come here and just find little creatures so easily? Yeah. It's fun, isn't it? And as a group, we luck out finding a beautiful smooth newt. It's huge. You actually hold them. Yeah. <gasps> are you going to pick it up? Wow. Careful, careful. Look at you. Oh my goodness, well that's done. So brave. That is amazing. So well done. Have you done that before? I'm quite proud. Wow. <laughs> We've seen tadpoles, newts. It's been quite a successful little pond dip, but George, you've actually got some green fingered fun for us, haven't you? Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of gardening. Perfect. Lead the way. For our second activity, we're planting some beautiful flowers, but we're getting super creative with the pots. So now we all know about plastic in the ocean, how plastic is a really big problem. So one way we can really help is by doing upcycling. So you can use pretty much anything, so an old colander, old kitchenware, welly boots. So it's really easy, so you're just going to fill it with compost first. And where can you get flowers and plants like this from? Where so you, you can get them any garden centre really, any nursery or anything like that. And also, you've got to make sure when you're cycling, it's got to have holes in it, so a colander's perfect. But any Wellington boots or anything like that, it's got to have holes in the bottom for drainage. OK, who fancies having a go? Me! OK, let's all do it in three, two, one, off you go. Get planting, people. Can we use the big yeah. yellow ones? Yeah. That's a good idea. Do you want me to pass you one? There you go. Can you put Top that tip. Aren't you meant to, like, tickle the roots? Well yeah. Have I made that oh, up? You taught me that. Tickling or loosening the roots of your flowers is really important as it helps them anchor into new soil. Tickle the roots. And what's also important is reusing and upcycling old things, something we love here on BP. That's why the wellies are great, because yeah. if yeah. you've grown out of them yeah. and they're lying around at home doing nothing, yeah. then it's like you can actually make them into something quite cool. They're good gifts as well, actually, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, it's quite, quite, quite funny if you do yeah. something. Yeah. Ideas, so there you have it, eye-catching and eco-friendly. Everyone hold up what you've made. Oh. Da, 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 da. They look good. Oh, nice. You've been so Amazing. Busy over there. Look at you. Yeah. Okay, well, we've got one more really fun activity. Who's up for it? <gasps> okay, let's go. Lead the way. Ooh. Go, go, go. <laughs> As the group head on into the woods, Catherine and I get to chat about her passion for the great outdoors. Is this something you do a lot now, you know, with your family, you kind of get outside and, and get in the outdoors? Yeah, rain, like or, rain or shine, <laughs> get dragged outside. Um, but it's great, and I see, you know, it sort of encourage creativity, mm -hmm. um, confidence, so even a short amount of time, you know, 10 or 15 minutes outside mm. makes a huge difference, I think, to both physical well-being but also our mental well-being. Well, I tell you what, it is time for us to try and yeah. build a den. Is this something you've done before? Yes, I love it, but I'm in your hands. Uh-oh, you're getting competitive. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Once again, it's over to George to kick-start the action. Two teams. Team Lindsay, mm -hmm. Team Catherine. I want you to build the best, the most sturdy, the most attractive den ever. Are you ready? Yeah. Three. Two, two, one, go! go. Okay, okay, so the big ones first. 
The key to a strong, sturdy den is starting with some long, thick branches bound together to create a frame. Once you've got a good frame, get those sticks on. OK, where should we put this one? As well as getting you active, den building helps develop communication and teamwork skills. So have you built a den like this before? Yeah. Yeah? OK? Here we go. Good. Should we put that right at the top? Yeah. Well done. Team Catherine, how are we getting on over there? Not bad. We've got a few holes. And it's clearly fun for all ages. There's so many cool things in here. Where are you finding these logs from? <laughs> all sorts of things you can find if you go looking for them. <laughs> Good creativity. Top marks. Then, as time begins to tick away... Two minutes, everybody! Two minutes! All the rules go out the window. Are you pinching off our den? No. Uh, excuse me! No. Right, five, four, three, two... Well done. One. Stop building! OK, that's Stop. it. Stop. Time's the up. the twigs down. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. What do you yeah. think we should call it? Den of the day. Den of the day. Den I like day. I like that. Well done. It was a good job. You did an amazing job finding everything. And you did it seriously quickly. What's our den called? Dragon Den. Dragon Den. But whose den will reign victorious? The winner is... Team Catherine! Yay! Well, I think we've all had a pretty awesome day, haven't we? Yeah. Have you had a good time? Yeah. And Catherine, yeah. you've obviously got your gold badge, which I know you're very proud of. It's a real honour, yes. Thank well, you you've very been much. outside with us, getting green today and getting outdoors. So for that, a bit of a surprise oh, for you. No. Got it in my pocket, your very own. No! Oh, green badge! Thank you so much. There Look at that. You go. Guess who else is getting a green badge? Uh, all of you! Yeah. And Georgia's got me! Yeah. Are you all proud? You should be so proud. Well done, all of you. <laughs> Look at that. It's been a, a real honour to meet everybody. I've learned a lot today, so thank you so much. Give yourselves a round of applause, everyone. Well done. You've done great today. Well done.